Hello, you beautiful people. This is Uncle Code, and I'm back to explain and share with you that function calling with Llama. I came up with this name because I'm going to work in these projects a lot, and I want to invest, and I'm going to put some of my Fishta students and my good developers, we work on this to bring more, uh, how can I say, I call it democratizing function call, function calling for all open source models. And you can also join and help me fund tune more models with that ability. I call it Kalama. <laughs> so call Lama. And then that's just the repository. You see this Lama is trying to call all the functions in the world. And then, so let me go to quickly uh, the three call apps that I created to help you to get into this. And also I created a small library that you can use it to just play around with it. Anyway, I want to record a video of how I fine tune because I learned a lot of things and I think it's going to be very helpful for many other people and they want to help and they want to do it for themselves. And also I'll go through these uh, collabs later in another video, each one of them, and I spend time and explain. But just for now, just quickly, let's overview, review of all of them. The first one I talked about it before is basically Llama 3 and Tiny Llama. And by by creating the template, usage templates and using a hugging face. Well, first I use Anislav, so you can install it or you can directly use this with the hugging face. Then I do have this prompt template. The prompt template is following Llama templates and I added function call and tool role and tool response within this. And I created a helper function render, which just get the sages in channel format and the list of tools and um, then then yeah that's it so then then you can call the render functions and then get back uh, the proper messages then in the next block i created two set of examples one as you can see test render arithmetic uh, uh, prompt and the other one is this the, the render email prompt as you can see that here i do have two messages role system users your helpful assistance hey send an email to tom at kitika.com and ask him to join our weekend party so there here i have the tools you can see that the tools right then i call it helper functions render which get the messages to to call should be true and then uh, what it does is just rendering based on this and then return it back and then you have this string so then you send it to tokenizer and also I have another function. This function is important for me because for now, what I fine tune is a single call. And my next step is to make it multi functions, multi tools, and then also tool binding. That is really interesting. And then here you can see that I have a rule, calculate, treat, multiply, 12 plus three. And then there's a tool which detect already, let's say we are middle of the function call detected that, okay, we have to pick up the multiplication, which is three by 12. And then we got the response and we send it back again, which is 36. So what we expect, we expect that the model says now 36 plus three, it means pick up uh, the addition tools. And I have two tools, add and multiplication. So these are just two set of examples to help you to just use it, that's it. And then I go to inference. Well, first I load the model. Uh, and I will show you my Hugging Face account so you can go. Now it's available. And in the 4-bit. And, and I use this uh, 8,000 uh, I mean, uh, for uh, fine-tuning. So increase the context. And actually, we can even do it more than that. Anyway, I load the model. And here, I call. you can call any of those two helper functions. The, the render email or render arithmetic prompts. Or you create your own. Then I have the tokenizer. Get the prompt, which is the result of that render functions over that template. And then just simply call it and then pass uh, the path token. So the path token is the same as the EOS token. So no need to recollaborate and change the size of the embedding. In a way, and then the batch codings and then get the response. When I got the response there, here you can see it says use the add with the 36 and the 4. So you can see also how is the message template. I created a, a, a help of functions which just go through this and take this out. So you have that pure, lovely JSON. For, for this one. And this is just an example of a streaming and that's it. Okay, just a stream. So you have the stream as well. For Tiny Lama, exactly the same things. And it's really interesting that how it works well. Then this is the first collab, okay? The second collab is, uh, let me see what's the th second collab is, is GGFU because I created a GGFU. So what I did is uh, first I installed uh, the Lama CPP Python and I installed the Hugging Face Hub and HF transfer because I want to download. And I this time I just wanted to use the CLI. So I log in, then I use the CLI. I set this variable to have a faster download. 
And then here you can see that I download the model in the same folder. And then you can also optionally go with the hugging face hub and downloading that way. So, you know, just put the cache directory to nothing to, to download in the local folder in the same place. So then uh, this is again, the same things the template, the render, the helper functions, the whole things, there's nothing new here. And then the inference. So I use the Llama CPP cell uh, to just create the models. 16,000 and then uh i put the minus one to get a whole gpu and then we go down okay so where is it uh oh okay it's here this was just creating the the, the instance so okay here then i put all these kind of things and a stop token is this one i run it and then i got the answers you see that this is the send email example and uh the answers and it's interesting <laughs> What is this token for a second? Too good to be true. So that is the way that you can use the GGFU. And I'm going to uh, add into uh, Olama community also. So you can play around with that one as well. Then uh, the third one, okay, I just created also a, a simple library for now to call in an easier way. So look, let me show it to you. Uh, so what you're going to do is you just uh, uh, clone the Kalama. And then go to the column and install the setup and everything. Then uh, set your, of course, um, hugging face token. And then here from LLMs that Llama 3 import Kalama. So this is the small little library that you can go and check the, the file. The, the benefit is just a little bit make it easier. Again, you can see that I have these messages. I have the tools. And also I have the email messages and I have the tools. And then what I'm going to do, I choose the model first. For example, this one. Then I instantiate one object from the Kalama class. I pass the model, I load the model, and then I have the completion, which get the messages and tools and stream false or true. So you're going to get non stream, and here you're going to get with a stream. And when I call the main, I'm going to get all the results with without the stream. Also, if you go to the examples folders, you go to the function called there are some examples. I, I can run. Just, I want to jump this video from the future because I forget to talk about. Uh, Olama. Not forget that time when I recorded the video, I didn't push the model to Olama. But now the model is available on Olama. If you go to the examples folder of my repository, you're going to see this file, O Kalama. And then you go there. Uh, uh, there are, what are you going to do first? You have to pull the model. I have to put the both models. One is the Llama 3, and the other one is a tiny Kalama. So Llama 3 Kalama and tiny Kalama. And then here I have two examples. Uh, one example is using the render functions, the utility render functions that I created to generate the proper prompt, or you just go and create the prompt the way that you want it. Just remember this is the prompt that you need to use. And here is the assistant. Don't don't try to change the assistant. Just put your tools here. And then uh, I'm going to have the, uh, the starting users and the message. And then here, that's kind of the whole prompt that you have here. And then call Olama. And you get a response, all right? Or you go and use the render function that you pass your messages as usual, tools. Call it here, get the prompt, and then pass it the function, and then you're gonna get it. So now, there you go, it's available on Olama as well. Um, again, remember that you must be sure that your Olama server works and go and pull it and then use it. So back to the main video. On it directly and get the same result. So three cold apps for you. Uh, and then I go with, uh, if you go to my accounts, I'll share all the links. So we have the, the, the Lora adapter for the Llama 3. We have the Lora adapter for Tiny Llama. And then we're going to have the GGFU with this. And then we're going to have the Tiny Llama. Wow, 180. I didn't know people interested in G You are interested in GGFU. Okay, got it. And then that is the repository. So, and, and you can see here what are my plan for the futures, what I'm going to do. Yeah, here it is. So my, it just listed down here. First of all, I want to improve the quality of this model by getting feedbacks from community and then also apply multifunction detections and function binding. That's a very interesting things. You know, to me, tool and function are two different things. I'll, I'll talk about it in, in the, the another video because I'm working on another project and the goal is to create a unified way to use function calling and tool calling in a functional way, no matter what LLM that you are using. It can be those that, like Grok that provide tool detection, tool call, or any model within the Alama. And I'm going to release it very soon. 
In this way, the concept of the function column will be a little bit separated than the LLM and then let us to get closer to the real agents because agents is nothing, just functions. So that's it. I will share the links to this GitHub repository in the video description so you can go there and then get can find the collabs and all the models. And I hope you enjoyed and do your best. Please share with me your comments. We have to really make a call with all the functions in the world with our Llama or in general, any LLMs. So let me see, is there anything else left in my mind to share here? I think, no, I think I just talked about the whole things. Please share with me, I follow up and I see what we can do to improve it. That's all. Have a good day or night, wherever you are in the world. Uncle Code, out.